Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic Survival. Now, I'll be the first to say that I have neglected my survival world just a little bit, and I think it is time to change that. I've got loads of ideas for base building as well as vehicle creation, and it's time to take it a little more seriously. Now, today... I am going to be doing a little bit of an expansion on the base because one thing I really miss from back in the day at the mechanic shop was having a little bit of a pen for walks so that I could get like guaranteed milk. So I'm going to be making a pen for the walks and also a corn feeding machine over here on this right side. Now, I've, I've had a huge mess on my base. Look at this. Let me hop up here yeah okay my base has been a bit of a mess there's no room to work with it at all uh, so I'm going to do some expansion on the main brick part of the base and I'm also going to put the pen right here so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to build a little bit more of a like flooring system right here so that I can move my crafting station up to the main part of the base and then hopefully that's going to just kind of help make the whole thing look a little bit more like a survival base now I did a bunch of grinding and I found a whole bunch of concrete or not concrete sorry but stone and turned it into brick that I can now use for this base building so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna get these craft bots up out of the ground and then we are gonna convert this area into the pen all right, there we go. That is looking way better. I, I can't believe it took me this long to finally get my crafting station organized. But this is looking pretty good. I might have to move these chests around. I have a little bit of an idea for what I want to do in this little area right here in terms of parking my vehicle. Uh, but, of course, I'm going to tackle that at a later date because right now I want to get some milk production on the go. Uh, so I've decided this right little side right here on the side of the base should be a pretty decent spot to build a pen for the walk. So I just got to move the helicopter out of the way here. And I think this should be a decent amount of room. Maybe if I kind of like build off of this one side right here. And I guess what I'll do is I'll just build a relatively simple fence. Uh, maybe three lengths like this. Uh, and then we're just going to bring it back to this side right here. Okay, this is going to be a pretty interesting fence. I think I might need to uh, might need to change the way I do the fence just in case the walks can maybe get out by going underneath it. So maybe I'll add some posts and all that. But uh, until then, I think something that's about this size right here, I think that's plenty of room for the walks. All right, so there we go. I've got the basic fence lined out. I'm pretty sure that the walks won't be able to fit through these holes here. Now, I've got the pen. I suppose I just need at least one walk to test this out. So maybe what I'll do is I'm going to open up a spot right here. Okay, there we go. Uh, this will be the entrance for the walks. And usually I've got some walks hanging around in the area. Uh, sometimes... They seem to wander away or maybe just despawn entirely. Uh, but I'm going to look for a walk and I'm going to lead him over to the pen and I'm going to introduce him to our new home. All right, here we go. Come on, little walk. Get into your new home. Okay, right here at the entrance. Okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. oh, my. Okay, is this going to work? Okay, there we go. First walk is now in the pen. Okay, wait. No, don't exit what I do know is I want to be able to feed it corn uh, in a slightly cooler way than just simply putting it down on the ground so of course you know the normal way to do this would be to typically just take the corn pop it down on the ground like this and then our happy little walk gets fed we get our milk and everything is just perfect but I want to do it in a different way and I'm thinking what I want to do is make it so that when I'm up here in my main base area, I'll be able to have like a station up here that will send corn down into the pen. So if there's more than one walk, it won't matter. They're all going to be able to gather around in this area to eat the corn. Now, I've got a couple ideas in mind. So I'm going to start getting a few foundational things ready for this. And then uh, we're going to see how it goes. All right, so what I've started off with right now is just like the basic sizing of what like 
a load of corn would look like and get ready to like drop in to the pen for the walks there now I've decided I'm going to do 15 at a time because I think if my math is right you know I think it's three corn for one milk uh, so if I have 15 corn then that should give me five milk and of course um, five milk I believe is yeah five milk is the full stack right there so every time I load down the corn into the pen I should in theory, be able to get a full stack of milk. I, I suppose, assuming that there is only one walk in the pen. So, maybe it'll be more beneficial to have just the one. Uh, but now that I've got the sizing down in what I want to do, I just need to kind of make the mechanism now. So, here's the idea. I've got two bearings right here, and I think what I want to do is I want to connect them between the two bearings together, and then create that full length for the corn. Now, let's see. Is this going to miss? Okay, yeah. That is definitely going to miss. So what I need to do is make it long enough so that we'll actually reach this resting point right here. All right, so this is the slope that I have right now. So the idea is that I want to be able to like load corn onto this ramp and then have it roll down into the pen. And then my happy little walk will get a tasty treat. So the question is, will I be able to use this ramp effectively? to drop corn into the pen. So first thing we got to do is just test our theory. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, uh oh, okay. <laughs> it kind of went off course a little bit there. So I'm thinking what I might need to do is add um, maybe some type of like trough system here. Um, okay, well actually, there's only so much room for this here. I'm gonna have to see if I can Maybe get away with putting them on either side. Okay, hold up. I don't need that row of wood there anymore, which means I should be able to just kind of go down here. Because the corn is is two, right? Yeah, okay, it's too tall, uh, which means... Okay, hold on. I need to widen this all a little bit more. Uh, so that looks pretty good in this case here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to widen this. Uh, it seems like... Uh, my planning here is not very, very well done. All right, so I've got the width all done up properly now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a switch for now. I don't know if that's going to be the permanent home or not. But what I want is I want the ability for this to be laying flat like so. And then you press a, uh, a switch and it will move it down. And then, of course, once it goes down far enough... There it goes. Okay, that is far enough. Um, ideally, the corn will just all roll down together. So let's see here. Let's raise it back up again. And I think what I might end up doing is having like some type of loaded up corn system on the top. Uh, and if I ever need to, I can just load down like a stack of 15 corn and then drop it in. But I suppose the first thing we should probably do is a little bit of a test just to see if the corn will actually roll through or is it just going to like get wedged up against the railing so let's see let's start it back up in the flat position here okay there we go drop the corn into the channel and then turn the switch on and let's see what happens uh oh is it moving oh okay it's slowly going there it goes the corn uh oh it's getting stuck Okay, there might not be much we can do about that, but the corn has fallen down to the ground and... Okay, the walk seems to be more preoccupied with that corner. Are you are you trying to escape? Are you trying to escape already? So that wasn't too bad though, uh, but what I might try and do is I might try and lower this ramp down a little bit further and maybe it will help keep the momentum of the corn rolling and we won't end up with like, uh, you know... A piece of corn stuck in the ramp so let's just try this again here yeah it really doesn't like being up against both of those railings but eventually look at that eventually it does go and it makes it all the way to the ground now I think I'm going to want more than one walk simply because if there's a walk in this corner I, they're not even gonna eat this corn all right so I was working through the night and here's a little bit more progress now what I've got so far is of course the ramp that goes up and down we've got a room for it here so that we have 15 corn in it and hopefully they're all gonna roll with no problems 
I also added a little staircase and uh, like a little stand right here just so that way when you're working with the corn and loading it all up uh, you know you have a some ability to see what you're doing uh, now the idea is now originally I was going to do some type of top loaded style drop down overly complicated thing and I've decided I think I would much rather a simpler design than that so what I'm thinking of is possibly having like a wall like this let's say now I think how long was that okay that's the full 16 right there so that means if I break this down right there we now have a length of 15 blocks now what I'm thinking is I think maybe if I have like the main block that is going to be like the block that we weld to that position there well we need to be able to make it so that we can remove it as well so we'll have that like that and then we're gonna do a row like so and this will be the 15 just like so uh, and so the idea is I will be able to come up here and break one of these off whenever I need it and I'll be able to load the corn up so let me do another uh, let's do another couple rows ideally I think I would like to have three of these ready to go at any given time uh, so that way I can just always be ready to get some milk from my walks so we're gonna do one more row like so there we go and then another stack of 15 corn just like this perfect all right so now we've got like the co the corn loaded up on these different little lines that we should be able to integrate with our ramp system so I guess this is going to be like the first full test as to whether or not this is going to work so the idea is you break this block which will drop down the loaded cartridge of corn weld it here and then all of this wood gets removed okay there we go we've got the corn loaded up oh god the <laughs> The ramp is just kind of jiggling the corn around a little bit right now. Kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. This is like the, the prelude to absolute disasters in scrap mechanic by seeing that hopping around. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is actually... This is, is this popped corn? <laughs> uh, so I can put this back here like so, ready to go again and load that up with more corn. Um, and I guess we just need to test to see whether or not this is going to work so here we go we've got the corn loaded up that should be 15 that walk is still in the corner stupid walk uh, let's see what happens there it goes ramp is down oh, corn is rolling yes it's working okay we got one straggling corn there it goes oh look at the speed it just picked up and look at that we now have a beautiful pile of corn down here in the walk pen and oh wait oh is this walk looking at the other walks all right get in there come on walk eat some corn oh there we go okay so that one maybe this pen is just too large come to think of it it might just be too large oh wait hold up okay I thought this walk was ready to join the party let's get one more in here there we go love having a walk butt right in my face uh, we're gonna close the pan up uh, but it seems like this ramp is working pretty darn good let's reset it and let's do um, another test let's try this out so break it weld tool weld it to the main metal block right there remove all the wood toss the corn around that is a crucial part of the process uh, and I guess let's just give this a test now that we've got three walks down in the pen there it goes it starts rolling and yep there we go the walks are coming over to the corn oh watch out jeez so much corn and look at that this works pretty well okay that one walk over there really not having a good time so I'm debating bringing this you know what I think it's probably for the best I think what I might do is bring the fence back to like this position right here maybe uh and then that will make the pen smaller which means the uh the walks will hopefully be more um enticed by our wonderful corn offering 
Uh, and I think it's just, it's gonna look better as well because, whoops, because we're not gonna have this giant, like, weird corner that droops right down. And wow, look at this, we already have so much milk. Oh my god, that's so good. Milk is crucial, guys. If you don't have milk and blueberries, then, then I don't know what to tell you. Now, another thing I could do is I can always just add more rows to this, like, I don't even know what to call it. I guess it's like a corn wall. Uh, this is going to be our wall of corn. So the idea is when I'm out and about traveling in my survival world, I will, you know, inadvertently probably end up collecting corn because you drive through it, you smash it. Uh, you might as well pick some of it up. And the idea is that when I get home from my expeditions, I have loads of corn. All I need to do is come over here, grab the corn from my inventory, and then just place it here on these wooden beams. And then it's basically like corn ammunition ready to go to feed the walks. All right, there we go. We're going to simulate coming back from an expedition. Well, I mean, I guess it was an expedition, but it was very brief and very specifically for this corn. Now, let's see here. I got a whole bunch of it. I probably have more than enough to fill these last little beams here. Um, and yeah, so I feel like this is just a great way for me to uh, manage my milk. And uh, normally, like I said before, I just kind of, you know, gather corn whenever, feed it to random walks in the wild, and gather milk uh, when it's kind of just like convenient in that moment. But I feel like if I do it this way, then that means I don't really need to worry so much about the micromanagement of collecting the milk. Because, you know, we're going to do it one more time here because this is just so much fun to do. Uh, but, you know, you grab the corn, weld it on. Okay, hold on. This is the fun part. We got to keep it flat first. There we go. Delete that like so. And then drop it down. All right, let's see. Uh, and so this way, yeah, I don't have to worry about constantly putting down corn on the ground either and just placing it around. I can just kind of <laughs> throw the corn in the walk's faces, basically. Uh, and they get their tasty treat. I stay a little bit more organized. Oh, uh oh, we got a straggler here. Uh, I stay a little bit more organized and, and I think it's just a win-win situation all around. And there goes that final piece of corn. So yeah, so every now and then there is a straggler. Um, I'm not too worried about that necessarily because the idea is, I mean, uh, among other ideas, is that once you load this corn up, you know, you drop it down, you lower the ramp, the corn rolls away to the walks, then you can go back to just working on uh, crafting, base building, vehicle building, or just whatever else things you got on the go in your survival world. So it's just a nice way to kind of set it and forget it. What's going on down there? So that is going to be today's survival video. I am looking forward to getting back into some really scheduled, regular survival content again. So if you guys are enjoying the survival builds and the survival content, then be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments as well. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, maybe even turn on some notifications so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanics. So, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.